Hello friends, in this video, I go to show how to install DeepSeek in a Mac Mini M4 local with a web view and everything's for free. So let's start to go to the board so I clarify for you how to do that. In the board, I have my Mac Mini M4, the basic model. I go to install the Olama, that's an app help us to run models in our local machine. And you go to download the DeepSeek model. That is a model, is an application that run your computer and help you to find some answers. Every model, they have some data, they go to training. Example, if, it, if you are a doctor and you wanna run a model that's training for doctors to help you to find some tests or do some answer for you, you can use that or you are a developer, and they have some models just for developers. More large this model, more training they have, and better answer they go to have for type subjects for you. And you need Docker, let's go to run the web UI for us. Let's stop talking and go to the terminal to start this project. First thing, you need your Olama install in your computer. If you use a Mac, download the Mac. If you use the Linux, download the Linux. And if you use the Windows, download the Windows. So I go to use the Mac, if I click in here, they go to download and save. So after that, you click in the file, flies, they go to open the Olama for you. You click it twice in Olama and they go to open the app for us. You click in open. You go to have this screen, you click in next and click in install. They go to install Olama for you. Okay, after you install Olama, you go to have this icon in the top in here and let's go to the terminal. Okay, in the terminal, you type Olama and you see Olama's working and you can see Olama's work in the terminal for us. Okay, let's go to the browser. You click in models, click in deep seek. I wanted to use the 14 billions because that's the one that have the problem with my windows in my last video. So let's try to use this one. Back to the terminal, paste and run. I have this model in my computer, but when you run, they go to download, take a little time for download that. But after that, you go to have this screen, I have send a message. So let's back to the browser. Let's go to my post, copy this prompt in here, back to the terminal again. Let's paste my prompt. Create a Kubernetes deploying YAML file for an Nginx web server. The deployment should have three replicas. Use the last Nginx image and expose the port 80 inside the container. Let's enter. So when they run it, I go to open the screen down. I click H stop so you can see how much resources they go to use for my computer. So they use a lot of CPU. They use a lot of memory. Okay, they use a most other resources in my computer. You can see in my H top in here. But they good give me a good answer. Let me close the each top and let's see the answer. In the top, they just think about what they go to do, but look at this YAML file. They have the deployment type. You know the name is the Nginx deployment, selectors. They put the number for the replicas in here. They put the labels in here and they use the nginx latest and the port 80 the way you ask for and they give me a little more information my like clarifications for the deployment and then here's the more important they start to show the service they they give it like service and uh, i think they give a good information in here for us but um that's not a good way to see that and i don't want to go to use the terminal for that so ctrl d they go to close don't forget to see if the docker running your computer. So check if the docker is running. If you don't have docker in your computer, I have videos how to install in Mac, Windows, Linux. I go to leave the links in the description. So if you don't have, you can install that. Okay, back to the browser. Let's go to my blog post. So copy here this command for docker and paste in the terminal. Okay. They start to run Docker. If you don't go to Docker TS, you know, our Docker running. Let's go back to the browser. Okay, in the browser, you put, put localhost column 3000 and you're going to have this browser page. So I need to put in my name, it will be Thiago, email, is that. And I need to put my password. Okay, click in create. So click OK. Let's go back 
to my blog post let's copy the prompt again let's paste in the ui and you see you have like the model you just download and let's run this again and let's see the answer they go to give for us. In the time they give the answer for us, you can see the deployment in the Kubernetes documentation. You have a deployment here. You know, we have the name, the replicas, the label, the template, the container, the image, and the port. Let's see what Deep Seek give for us. Okay, after three minutes, they give the answer for me. If you click in here, you can see the thoughts about what they think they go to write for us. They give a YAML file for us with the deployment, but now they give a little more information for us. They put it like the resource with your request limits. They put it like the security contacts for user. That's the name the user don't be a root user to run the application. That's a good thing. And something new for me, these annotations for natural net policy for, for inbound and outbound. That's some information I never see before, but that's look nice in here and uh i think that's a pretty good answer for that and for this model running local so i'm i mean like so i'm happy for this answer they give for me maybe you need to work a little bit more for the speed for the answer but they take the time but they give me a good answer that's it that's the easy way how to install deep for free with a web ui on a Mac Mini M4. If you like the subject, please comment, like, and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching, and I see you in the next one.